See, it's not, it has nothing to do with only the USA. Let me give some few numbers which I have said in so many other fora. US share of world exports is about 9%. US share of world import demand, total demand is about 15%. US share of world GDP is about 20%. And US and the dollar share of world transactions is about 65%. So it is not as if the Americans themselves are pushing dollarization. The world is pushing America towards dollarization. Then why are people conducting transactions in dollars? They don't need to. Now, the reason this is happening is that there was a feeling that maybe the euro would one day replace as a possible currency. It didn't happen because the euro has got its own problems going on right now. Similarly, go back to the 1930s. In the 1930s, the number one currency in the world was the sterling. Now, when did sterling switch over? When did the, when did the world system switch over from sterling to dollars? Sometime in the 70s. But there was no official decree. There was no political major changes. US actually was simply becoming very much more dominant in world trade. So it simply got, got to do with which country is the most politically stable, which country is the most stable economic system, and which country is the largest system. No other country at the moment, whether Europe or China, actually satisfies the requirement. Until that happens, then you cannot have de dollarization even the Americans agree to it. It will not be possible. If tomorrow the Americans say, okay, dollar is no longer a world reserve currency, then please go back to 1971. There will be chaos if today it happens. So, how about the simple method? You mentioned Indo UAE. Well, you know, Indo UAE is not de dollarization, Indo UAE is barter trade. We are saying barter trade, but what happens, you know, we have a deficit with the UAE if you take into account oil. Will the UAE take payment in oil, in dollars, uh, in, in rupees? If they would, let the OPEC, Russia and the African countries like Kenya all agree that they will be dominant, including the America's biggest enemy, Argentina. Let them all decide that they will denominate their dollars, their oil in non-dollar currency. Half your battle will be over. Half your deal dollars will be achieved, but they will never do it. Second, China, which is making the most play today about de-dollarization. China's world deserves roughly about $3 trillion, is almost, let's say, about one-fifth of total world trade of about $16 trillion. Let the Chinese say, we will redesignate all our reserves in other currencies and we will hold one of one third of our reserves in Indian rupees. Matters over. So, you know, as I say in English, put your money where your mouth is. Don't just talk about politics will never achieve de-dollarization. World growth and competitive growth will.